Holidays in the early American Republic were observed during the 12 days of Christmas, beginning with the quieter, more reverent religious celebration on the 25th and continuing through January 6th with the celebration of Epiphany, the Feast of the Three Kings. The highest emphasis of the secular portion of the holiday was observed on New Year's. During their time in the White House, the Monroe host, Monroes hosted an annual New Year's Day levy, an open house for the residents of Washington, D.C. And this is actually a tradition that dated to the Washington administration that they continued. Music has always been an integral part to any celebration, and the Monroes were no exception to this. They owned many instruments throughout the years, including this 1803 Astor Piano Forte that they brought back with them at the end of Monroe's second diplomatic tour in England. It was in the White House and also in their retirement home of Oak Hill in Leesburg. The surviving sheet music tells us that the youngest of the daughters, Mariah, was an accomplished pianist. We would like to share a few carols with you to celebrate the season, beginning with Ding Dong Merrily on High, which dates to the 16th century, a very familiar Welsh piece, Deck the Halls with Boughs of Holly, and then ending with We Wish You a Merry Christmas. And we do indeed wish you and yours a very Merry Christmas and the happiest of holiday seasons. <laughs> enjoyed these pieces, we've actually recorded a number of them on this piano forte in a, in a CD that is available both in the gift shop of the James Monroe Museum and also available online from their website. We'd like you to, to invite you to stay for a few minutes. The editor of the assistant editor of the papers of James Monroe, Heidi Stello, will be joining us shortly to an answer any questions you may have about Christmas in the early American Republic as well as music of the period. Thank you. Thank you.